When Ram boldly claimed that this is the most luxurious truck in its class, I thought that was an awfully bold claim to make. I mean, I was recently in the Toyota Tundra 1794 edition, and while it's not the most high-tech truck, it's certainly very nice. I just got out of the 2021 F-150, and that truck has full seats that become beds. It's extremely luxurious in many ways. And the Nissan Titan, of course, I was recently just in, and even that has some really nice seats to it, some nice stitching and really nice touches around the cabin and of course the GMC and Chevy Silverado High Country are also very nice however after seeing in this $70,000 Longhorn I'm convinced uh, everyone can go home it's over and today I'm going to take you around this $70,000 1500 Longhorn and show you exactly why it really is the most luxurious truck there is but first a huge thanks to Oarsman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Clarksville especially Jacob for letting us take a look at it if you're looking for a new Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram in the Maryland area be sure to check out their website in the description below also a huge thanks to you all for watching consider subscribing if you like our videos all right let's get into it Let's start talking about the exterior here at the front of the truck. Really nice bulging hood, really handsome design. Uh, it has a nice light blue e-torque badge, which we will see when we get around to the side of the truck, but it really helps spruce some things up. Nice big chrome grill. Um, I really admire that the 1500 has so many different grills, or at least it, it appears it does, um, and it helps make everyone look a little bit different, a little more unique on the road, make your truck a little more special. Big Ram logo with your camera in it for that 360 camera. We're gonna see when we get inside. Nice big tow hooks down here, of course chrome, and then you have your parking sensors down here. So it really is an attractive front end. Of course, full LED lights, one of the best looking front ends in the business. Now let's start talking about the side. There's that light blue e-torque badge I was talking about earlier. Uh, we'll get into what e-torque is a little bit later when we get to the powertrain. $2,095 22-inch wheels look really nice right here. Uh, these have the black inserts. I really like the ones with the brown inserts. I think it's a really unique wheel design, but these black ones look very snazzy as well. Your mirror is power folding. This one is chrome and you have turn signal integration and your blind spot warning is in there, of course. You can get the mirrors that fold up for uh, towing trailers, which can be quite useful, of course, if you are into towing. Nice chrome accents on your door handles breaks up this nice dark blue color opening. The door, you will see we have power deploying running boards on this vehicle, which is always a nice touch. And then from there, it's just your traditional truck profile. It's a very attractive vehicle. Here at the rear, nothing too special. Full LED taillights and some nice chrome tipped dual exhaust right there. Really huge Ram logo. I mean, it is, it's the size of my hand. Um, and then just some nice bylines to the tailgate right here and a nice big Longhorn badge. Uh, your tailgate here, no fancy steps. This is not the split folding barn door tailgate. This is just a normal tailgate. You can just drop it with your key. Nicely damped as you can see right there. Here in the bed, nothing too special. You do have the spray and bed liner here, which is really nice, and the LED bed lights, which of course is always a nice option. And then you can see we do have a camera up here that's gonna act as your rear view mirror. We'll see it when we get inside. And then of course you have plenty of cargo tie down hooks along the vehicle. Nothing super snazzy in this bed. Um, however, it avoids gimmicks and it includes the features that are really useful and important if you're hauling gear. Let's talk about trim starting off the line at $32,345 is the Trajan, which is going to get you features like power locks and power windows. You're also getting a Uconnect 3 5-inch touchscreen. Um, one thing that's interesting to note is there are a lot of really nice available features for a base pickup truck, including some nice safety options like auto emergency braking. Moving up to the Tradesman HFE, I can get you some nice upgrades over the regular Tradesman, including the 3.6 liter Pentastar engine with e-torque. You're also going to get full length running boards and front cloth bucket seats. At $36,890, the Bighorn is going to get you fog lamps. You're also getting a leather wrapped steering wheel and a chrome grill and bumpers. At $41,430, the Laramie is going to get you these nice LED lights along with an 8.4 inch Uconnect system and a 7 inch digital gauge cluster display. 
starting at $45,320. The Rebel is gonna get you the sweet 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler tires. You're also getting a locking rear axle. And on top of that, you get the available barn door uh, multifunction tailgate. By the way, we would be very interested in doing a video on a Rebel. If you guys would like to see one, let us know and we'll get on it. At $52,180, you can get the limited Longhorn like we have here today. And that's gonna get you the available Uconnect 12 inch screen, which we'll take a look at in just a little bit. You're also getting these nice leather bucket seats and you're getting my holy trifecta of automotive materials, genuine wood, leather, and metal here on the interior. At $56,520 is the Limited, which is gonna get you some really nice four corner air suspension, which is auto leveling, which is super duper cool. You're also just getting those general interior upgrades. Of course, you're getting things like the power running boards and that 12 inch Uconnect screen as well. And they don't have one here yet, but topping the line at $70,095 is the TRX with a 6.2 liter supercharged engine pulling out 702 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque. You're also gonna be getting Bilstein Blackhawk shocks and 35 inch off-road tires. Now there isn't one here just yet, but uh, the dealer tells me they have one on order. So we will absolutely be checking out one of those as soon as we can. Let's talk about the engine here. We have a 5.7 liter V8 engine that's pulling out around 410 pound-feet of torque and 395 horsepower. You can expect around 17 miles a gallon in the city and 22 on the highway for 19 combined. Um, now, towing capacity is gonna be around 11,500 pounds on this limited Longhorn, and you're looking at a bit under 2,000 pounds in uh, payload capacity. Just keep in mind that's gonna vary greatly depending on your box configuration and your cab size, of course. Now, this has the e-torque system I mentioned earlier. You can see it right here. It replaces your alternator with a more robust generator system and what that's going to do is when the truck is slowing down it's going to capture some of that energy it's going to uh, generate electricity and store it and then when the truck accelerates it's going to use that electricity to help give you a bit of a boost so it's a mild hybrid system uh, the truck's not going to run alone on electricity or anything like that but it can give you a fairly substantial boost uh, at least when you're starting to pull a trailer or something like that Let's talk safety. This vehicle does have a five-star safety rating and you're getting a lot of electronic goodies to help uh, help keep you safe. So you do have the $1,695 advanced safety group package right here, which is gonna get you a 360 camera. You're also getting uh, auto emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection. You're getting lane keep assist along with radar cruise control with stop and go functionality. On top of that, you are also um, going to get parallel and perpendicular park assist, which is a very nice feature. Interesting thing to note is that as part of the $3,800 uh, Longhorn Level 1 package, you're getting blind spot monitoring. It's interesting that's not in with the safety group. However, this vehicle right here is equipped with both packages. All right, let's get into your 1500. Here's your key. It is absolutely ginormous. Feels really good in the hand, nice and big. We can, of course, come up, just place our hand there to unlock the vehicle. Running board deploys, and now we can step in. Really easy with that running board. Door sounds really nice as you close it, looking around. Uh, just, again, really nice interior. Put on the brake, push the button, start the truck, comes to life. And you can see this is just such a huge truck, but you have some really nice viewing angles out of it because the windows are absolutely massive. Steering wheel feels great in the hand. Um, and then you have a great view out the front, especially with that heads up display is really helpful looking out there. Overall, great entrance. And now let's start talking about the interior. I mentioned in the beginning of this video at Ram says this is the nicest truck in its class and boy, they are not wrong. Looking around here, uh, just the wood, the metal, the leather, everything. Nice stitching everywhere. Nice metal lines running everywhere. I mean, truly there is not a bit of like bad plastic in sight. The only bit of like gloss black plastic is around the display, which I think actually helps maybe break up the display a little more, transition it slightly to the wood and whatnot. Um, it's not it's not that bad it is in somewhat high traffic areas however 
the rest of this cabin more than makes up for it. I mean, truly, the wood on the steering wheel is so nice. Even it has wood inserts on it. Now, remember, this is a $70,000 truck. It should be very nice in here. However, even compared to other $70,000 trucks, uh, think your high countries, your GMC Denali's, your um, F-150 Platinum's, this is still uh, some somehow a level above. Just every surface you touch is just fantastic this is one of the nicest interiors i've ever been in not just for a truck but period we're going to go over some of the really nifty features of this interior now but first general impressions really are amazing i want to take a second to talk about the seats they are extremely comfortable we have this wonderful saddle brown leather that's the name of this interior color and it looks great um, we'll see the saddle theme continue through this vehicle and as we get into the back you can see that really nice longhorn badge right there they give you a leather care card you can see it over there they give you this really nice substantial card to tell you how to take care of your new leather seats they feel amazing these are heated and they're ventilated that ventilation comes as part of the longhorn level one package of course we have power adjustments down here with this nice this is metal right here this is not plastic so the fact that they use metal even down here where no one will ever really be using it or seeing it uh, is really really fantastic just such so nice and of course power seats do move back and forth you have this nice stitching in it uh, so really really fantastic seats also in terms of adjustment you can see your steering wheel has manual adjustment right there but you do have pedal adjustment so you can see i can bring the pedals forward or back this is a really really nice feature uh, it's really nice to see power adjusting pedals in this vehicle overall seating area is very nice Let's t start by taking a look at some of the technology in this truck, starting right here, looking at that big seven inch digital display right in front of you is absolutely fantastic. I do think that Fiat Chrysler products have some of the best center gauges, uh, especially the digital ones. They are nice and big without being too complex. They always have the information you need right there. So pulling back, it's controlled by these buttons on the wheel. And you can see right now we have our speed up and in each corner you have some pretty important information, temperature, direction, uh, battery voltage, and oil. As we scroll down, you'll see we have uh, vehicle information. So these are all sorts of important vitals for your truck, which of course could be important at any given moment. Uh, interesting that they have the hours too, which is uh, something you usually see in diesel vehicles, but having it in the gas can't hurt. Going down from there, you have some off-road features. Not a whole lot right here, just your pitch and roll and off-road where power's being sent, but that's really all you need. Uh, this does not really have the trail camera, but I guess you could use like a, the front camera, but like some Jeeps, for example, have that uh, front trail camera, which gives you 180 degree view and has the washer. This doesn't have that, but you do still have that great view out front. Moving down from that, you do have your driver assist features right here. Shows you what's going off. Fuel economy, of course, is always nice to have. General trip information and some trail information. Now, uh, I pulled up the brake right here. Uh, I do not tow stuff. I'm not someone who has ever towed a trailer. Um, so I do not know that much about trailer brake controls. So I don't know if this would be a useful screen. However, as you use the brake controller right here, you'll see it'll give you a live view of what's going on. So I do not know how useful it would be. Maybe someone in the comments who is uh, someone who tows stuff regularly could let us know. Continuing to scroll down from that, there's not a whole lot more, just your music and messages. So again, nice and simple screen, but it more than gets the job done. Also really nice is those two physical gauges flanking it. They are really intricate and they really complete the longhorn look of this vehicle, especially with that old Western font. Um, really, really good look. This truck is equipped with the $1,095 technology group, which is gonna get you this heads up display. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, however, you can see it does display your speed, the speed limit and your location. Of course, a very useful feature. Also part of that technology group is this. You can see we have a digital rear view mirror. So I can flip it to the normal mirror right here. You can see us. And there's the digital mirror. Of course, that is extremely helpful if your rear view is blocked by anything in the bed or uh, right in the back seat. So this is a feature I really am glad to see moving throughout the industry. It started with like just on Cadillacs and some of the high-end uh, General Motors pickups. Now it's in this. I know it's in the RAV4. Really glad to see this feature moving around the industry. 
All right, let's talk about that 12 inch Uconnect 4 system right here. It's part of the $3,895 Longhorn Level 1 package. Um, that package also gets you the wireless charger down there, which we'll take a look at soon, a 19 speaker uh, surround sound system, and you're getting those power running boards along with a few other things, but those are the uh, big ones. So looking in here, it's a really intuitive system. You have two cards, an upper and lower card. So let's say I want my comfort in the upper card. Now I have my temperature and whatnot up there, and I can also switch over uh, and control my heated seat and ventilated seat along with the wheels. Um, then down below, we can choose another card. So let's say I want my radio up here and you can see now we have that. So a very intuitive system. It's almost like you have two traditional infotainment screens stacked on top of each other. Uh, I really like this view. It means that everything can be bigger. So when you're driving, much easier to hit that. So that is really, really nice. Um, you can see here we are in the settings. Something interesting I just wanted to point out here is that if you go down, you can see that you have really easy access settings for everything, especially trailer. If you want to set up trailer profiles, you're doing a lot of towing, you can do that there. But in the audio, they have a feature called speed adjusted volume. I have this in my Jeep Cherokee and love it. The volume will change with the speed and you can control um, how aggressive that feature is. So that is really, really neat. Uh, there aren't any other weird options. My only complaint with the system is I wish there was a bit of an easier way to access the cameras, to just see what the cameras are seeing um, when you're not going in reverse. That would be really nice. There's not like, you can hit this to see the backup camera, but to get the full 360 uh, would be really, really nice. Other than that, this is a fantastic system. You can see that it does have physical buttons on every side, um, so you can control your important functions. And just by using this, you, uh, or by having me use this, you've seen how snappy this system is. So if I wanted to X out here, you can see it is pretty much instant. So that is really, really a nice feature. Definitely recommend getting the 12 inch system if you're going for a fully loaded vehicle like this. One additional really nice tech feature is the camera system. So we do have that 360 camera system um, as part of that safety package. And you can see, of course, we do have this really nice guidance, which makes it really, really easy to park the vehicle and park it in tight spots. So really nice camera system there. Now let's start talking about your center console area. First of all, I love these switches. If you've seen our other Ram truck reviews or a Mustang uh, or any of that, I love these switches. They're so tactile, nice feedback. You can see just a really nice click and it makes it really easy to hide any blank switches by going with this design. I love this design and Ram does it best. I think the Mustang was the first to do the aircraft switches like this, but Ram definitely does it the best. Trailer brake controller right there. We talked about that a little bit earlier. You have USB A and C ports right there. Love to see the future proofing. Lots of ports for everyone to use. And then we have this really big storage cubby right there. It's perfect to slide phones or a wallet into. There's uh, your Ram charger. For those of you that don't know, the Ram charger was actually a model of SUV that Ram made from like the mid 70s to the early 90s. Um, so that's a fun little tidbit right there. And you can see, this is why I really want to show you. We have this massive storage area. You can see that we can reveal two cup holders with little grips, which is fantastic for your smaller drinks. And then in here, we just have some coin holders and more space. And then you can actually take this entire compartment and you can slide it back to reveal an absolutely massive uh, cavity right here. I mean, you could fit a laptop in here, anything you need along with, you're also find a full size outlet right there. So this is really a fantastic space and your cup holders are still reachable, which is a fantastic option. Putting this back up, we can now open your Longhorn lid. By the way, look at that metal badge. That is absolutely, that screams premium to me. I mean, that is solid metal. That is fantastic. Really shows the craftsmanship in this vehicle. Opening this up, you can see we have more space. There is, however, a max fill line because you don't want to pull this back and hit anything you have in here. So the max fill line is actually pretty shallow. However, I think giving up this space is more than worth it for the functionality and division that this cargo slider brings. Also, of course, Ram does have all of your measurements on there. So if you go to geometry class, this will come in nice and handy. This can also be open sort of halfway to reveal a USB-A port right there. And you know, you could fit maybe some pamphlets or something in there or a tablet. So that is really a fantastic, very practical center console area. 
Sitting here in the back of the truck, the rear passengers are not getting left out in the cold in terms of luxury amenities. And that is quite literal because you do have heated outboard seats. You also have ventilated outboard seats, which is a very, very nice feature to see. On top of that, you do have lots of charging ports back here along with rear vents, which is very nice to see. Your doors are just as ornate as they are in the front. Seats just as comfy as they are in the front as well. You have Longhorn sewn into there. It looks really, really nice. Now, right up here we have the $1,495 dual sunroof and it looks absolutely fantastic um, as it should they always do you also in terms of amenities back here have the middle seat which pulls down to reveal an absolutely massive armrest I don't know why more companies don't use the full middle seat like this and just use the little pull out because this gives you way more arm room it gives you this little additional storage cubby right here along with these two cup holders it really is a nice feature Putting that up, the last thing I want to talk about right here is the floor mats. You'll notice they're cloth with these little buttons. Not only that, but you have a metal Longhorn badge in them and you have this uh, little barbed wire pattern in them. It's a really nice look and you can actually unbutton the carpet from the rubber. So what that means is if you want a nice luxury look, you keep that carpet in there. But if you're going out, going to a work site, you get your boots all muddy, you peel that carpet off with the buttons and now you just have nice rubber floor mats which are going to stop any mud from getting uh, in your car. You also have these really nice saddle bags on the back of your seat where your mat pockets are. Uh, they actually have little saddle attachments, which is really, really cool. Definitely add some character to the back of this truck. Also in terms of space, plenty of space as we're used to in these pickup trucks. And of course you can easily fit three across. Another great thing with the back, as with many large trucks, is as you can see right there, there's a lever. If you pull up on that, you can raise the seats. And now you can use this as an interior storage area if you don't have rear passengers. So Ram absolutely can claim that this is the luxury king because it is. I reviewed a lot of pickup trucks and really when it comes to luxury, the Ram 1500 does take the cake. Now at $70,000, this thing really is expensive, but you're getting a lot for your money, of course. You're getting that really, really nice interior with all that metal, that wood, that leather. You can tell a lot of care really was taken with it. On top of that, you are getting some really neat technology too, that 12 inch display. You're also getting the heads up display along with the special uh, camera, the rear view camera, which is really, really nice. So if you're looking for a luxury pickup truck, the 1500 definitely is the place you should start looking. A huge thanks to you all for watching and a huge thanks to Oarsman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Clarksville for letting us take a look at this truck. If you're interested in buying a new Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram, be sure to check out their website in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like our video, consider subscribing and we'll see you in next week's video.